Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. And unfortunately, we still don't have any of the Season 2 Reloaded or Mid-Season Update content for Zombies. So in today's video, it's going to be kind of a quasi beginner's guide, really just kind of show everyone how I go about getting everything back to it for a character in case you lose everything, maybe you die, everything goes away and get back to a state where you can consistently run tier three and then even the tier four dark aether. So I did add in a third operator here. I've got nothing for him. And then I'm also going to bring in a gun with nothing. So in case someone is watching this where they've never played the game, they don't have, you know, like a meta build or all the attachments unlocked. I want to show that it's still possible with just a stock gun. So let's jump right into this. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is get my three plate vest. In order to do that, you need to, I think the quickest way is to go into a mercenary stronghold. But you need a key card to do that which you get through a camp, mercenary camp, which sometimes is easier to find. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Ooh, that one's really far away. I don't know if I want to go all the way to that one. Um, but let's just do it. I'll go get a vehicle and go over there. All right, so we're on our way to the camp. And what I do after the camp, obviously, is then go to a mercenary stronghold to get the three plate and after I do the three plate I live in tier one and do contracts to get enough essence to just go buy the remaining stuff so that would be the durable gas mask and the large rucksack and the kill streak so the large rucksack is 10,000 essence the durable is 4,000 and at a minimum the Sentry gun is um, 2,000, but if you want the Juggernaut, it would be 10,000. I feel like those are the two most kind of common, useful kill streaks to have. Um, would be one of those two. Okay, so first one, unfortunately, when we got there, someone had already cleared it out. So let's get this one. I admit, I do feel like mercenaries are just way more challenging than zombies. I don't know why, probably just because they actually shoot back. Um, but I do also sometimes have a hard time finding them. Okay, so in here we get our mercenary, and then we also get a two plate, which is nice. Okay, so here's the mercenary stronghold. And sometimes I do luck out with the camp or the stronghold, and you will get a durable gas mask off one of the enemies, but you don't always, so... Oh, I hate the right shields, and I forgot I used up all my thermites. Now I'll drill the safe, and this is where the three plate vest is. And I have lucked out sometimes and gotten the uh, large rucksack as well. Okay. So here is our three plate. Okay, so now we can focus on contracts to get essence so that we can go in and buy the large rucksack and the durable gas mask. Cause I wasn't really looking at these people. So I don't know if they dropped a durable or not. Uh, dun, 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 don't see any, don't even see a regular gas mask. So, okay, let's go do this out last. Alright. 
would we get here? Self revive and I'm gonna hold on to that crystal. Just in case I don't find anything else, um, I'll hold on to it. Ooh, two people. Let's go help them out here. Drop this. Ooh, nice. Take that. Which will help out a lot. Reload, reload. Ooh, all right. Hop off here. Uh, yeah. We're on Bring Rot. Why not? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, dead shot. I'll take that. Didn't I put on... Oh, it was Brain Rot. Brain Rot was the other one I put on. Thought I put on a perk. Alright, what do you got for me? I'll take that. Get. I'll take that for next run. Might as well take that as well. Put those back on. Okay, what's next? Ooh, perfect. I'll do the outlast again. Where are all the zombies? This one's just like super quiet. Oh, I think that fire's gonna hurt me, but that's okay. I'd rather stay in this spot. I'll just take that damage. Zombies. Right at the end. Oh, did I get the double points? I think I did. I think I picked it up right before the contract paid out. Take that. Okay, so what's next? Oh, oh is that a plea? Let's go help him out. Go help out that plea. Let's move. All right, we'll definitely get this. Still a good, nice little horde. And the nice thing is, after this, I'm pretty sure I can go buy everything. Ugh, ugh, ah, ah. Nice, I need the armor. Okay, so. That should be enough essence now. It should be 24. So that I can go buy the large rucksack. I should have saved that for next one. Whatever. Um, the large rucksack. The I will get the juggernaut. And a durable gas mask. And just got a few things for next run. So let's go grab this LTV. And the downside is you do have to buy all these things in tier 3. So we will have to make it over into tier three, but honestly, I feel like tier three is one of those things that when I first started playing this game, tier three kind of scared me because I just felt like, you know, it's tier three. Oh my God, crazy hard. And the first few times that I went into tier three, it was challenging, but the more that you fight there, the more that you live in tier three, the more it just becomes not scary and it's like oh this is actually doable um especially in an instance like this where i'm just getting in and getting out i'm not actually gonna try and kill zombies there so i'm not worried that my gun is gray 
and zero pap. I just need a buy station, and it's nice that buy this one right is here. right on the edge. If it's not, um, it's still easy. You can take a vehicle, drive in, uh, or if you can find a jump portal, you can jump to it and then just run away. Now, you definitely will need the decoy grenades because you can throw that down. It'll pull the enemies off just as you buy everything that you need and then run away. And you do need to be careful. Tier 3 will destroy vehicles if you run over them with zombies. So we've got large, durable, and juggernaut. And we are out of here. Oh, don't push me out. That. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the first part is done. So we've got our operator all geared up. The next part now is getting our weapons and equipment ready. So this next run, what I'm going to try and do is get a Casimir grenade, the pulley grenade, which you can either find in tier two and tier three uh, or buy in tier three for 5,000 essence. And then I also want to try and get one or both of these up one level. So I'd want the, the epic aether tool or the flaw, the refined Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum crystal. Uh, so I can be able to pack a punch to level two right away. Now, if we're really lucky and the RNG is great, I potentially could make tier three and tier four this run. Normally doesn't happen, but it does happen from time to time. But I might be able to push tier three, which does give us a higher chance of getting these two up one level. So let's jump into this next one. Okay, so... Let's equip all this stuff and head straight into tier two. Ooh, nice, a jump portal. Um, and let's do that to start off with. Uh, actually, I don't need that anymore. So let's, uh, oops. I accidentally dropped that. <laughs> Equip, drop. What do I get? Oh, and would you look at that. The COD RNG gods are blessed upon me. Okay, so that's fantastic. We're going to hold on to that till next run. Um, just in case everything else kind of falls apart, I know I have that for next run that will push me into tier 3 quicker. Let's work on another contract. Let's go do this one. Let's take the vehicle. Ooh, disciple. Oop, you're mine, Disciple. Alright, uh, don't really need that since we have the refined one. And let's go take this uh, um, Outlast contract. Oop, Disciple, hello. Oop, I'm stuck on something. No! <laughs> Shoot. That was really foolish of me. I should not have just focused up on that uh, disciple. Okay. So I can pack... Oh, and would you look at that? Ooh, and that? Oh. RNG's coming pretty good for me right now. Okay, um... So that was the holy grenade that I wanted, the Casimir. That's nice. I don't have to buy that anymore. It's 5,000 less than I need. 
Um, but pack a punch. Where's pa the closest pack a punch? Right here, unfortunately. So let's pack a punch to level two, and then we'll keep pushing and hopefully be able to get to pack a punch three. But what I am gonna try is, you know, there are some guns that even at pack two, they're fairly good in tier three. So I will go over there and see how well I handle it. And um, maybe try a contract or two in there. We'll see. Um, let me just do this contract here really quick. Um, I'm just gonna, since I'm here and these two are kind of nice, I can get this raid weapon and then I can do this, uh, deliver cargo. And I'm not gonna worry about that. The orbs are nice. You know, you do get a fairly good amount of, uh, essence from them and a chance for a tool to drop. But I'm gonna just avoid it for now. Bye-bye. Did you drop a perk? Nope. <laughs> Take death perception. I like it. Okay, so now... Delivery car deliver cargo. Delivery cargo? Deliver. Deliver cargo. Yes. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about in this game. Look for five, I like it. Okay, so let's go test. Um Go test out tier three. Let's just see how bad it is with PAP two and this weapon. Okay, so let's just see how well. Let's see how well this does. Well, that's not really a good judge. Mm, not terrible. Let's try a contract. We'll try the spore control. Oh no, I accidentally threw it. I fat fingered my mouse. <laughs> oh, now I have to buy one. Okay, that's fine. Bring this over to the gas station. Okay, come on. Oop, I'm just missing a bunch of shots here. Uh, maybe this isn't great. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here. And we'll cancel the contract once we're safely in a vehicle and out of here. Thought I was going to be able to do it. Can't do it. Yeah, don't have one. And yeah, might as well equip those back on. Just drop that. I know there's going to be a nice horde behind me. Ooh, another disciple. That was a little wild. Uh, I've already got that, but let's just take it in for next round. Okay, what's next? Let's just go do the deliver. I've already got brain rot on. 
Let's just grab it for next run. Okay. Uh, might as well just equip it. straight to tier three uh wait i already have that saved all right don't need that okay so let's go pack a bunch because i'm still missing a tool i'm still missing some type of tool for the next run Oops, the you are? How do you get up there? I don't think I've ever been up there. Oh, whatever. Bail on you guys. Last one. We got this. Ooh, disciple. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, take that. Eh, bummer. Okay, what else can I do here? Ooh, I like that one a lot. See if I can make it there. Oh, I didn't realize it was the mangler that I had turned. Probably didn't have to use that energy mine. That's okay. Insta kill. Or was that a kaboom? Oh, it was a nuke. I thought that was an insta kill. Oh, my goodness. Got it before it could start sucking the life out of me. Uh, bummer. Oh, I should have saved that for next run. I really hope a mega does not spawn here. Oh, shoot. It's gonna be a problem. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah. <laughs> Not to get yep, shot to get in the back. Okay, let's run up here really quick. And get him to trail on me. Ooh. Oh, there's two of them. Oh boy, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> doesn't like me. Oh no. Okay, let's bail here really quick. Oh, 
Ooh. I just have no plates. Where are the plates at? Okay, I think this is safe. Let's just stow those. There's one plate. Okay, I think I can push back. Gotcha. You're dead. Oh! Oh, where'd my gun go? No one hitting my little mine? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, it's a bummer that we didn't get the ether tool, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. You know, we don't always get what we want. So we'll go back in and we're get we'll now just pop this. We'll head straight to tier two. Start farming contracts in hopes that we can again get another one of these or uh, at least a raw and then hopefully a better tool. But we'll see what happens. All right. Let's get everything here. Let's start going to town. Uh, there's normally a jump portal up here, right? Oh, yeah, it's normally right in the water. Uh, this time I am gonna fight this orb, just because orbs do normally give, um, do normally give a tool, some type of ether tool. Ooh, blue, I like it, thank you. Alright, now we'll go into tier two. Much more confident. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Thank you. Uh, just hold on to that. Nothing good. Right at the end here. Noise, noise, noise. Okay, what do we get? Ah, bummer. No, no ether tool. Okay, so next contract. Uh oh, my essence is bugged. There we go, 15. Okay, so I can go pack a punch now. And I do want to start farming tier 3 as quick as I possibly can. So I think I'm going to make my way over there. not going to worry about the wonder weapon. I still don't think they're effective enough. I don't find any use and utility in them. So, oh, well, the um, Scorcher. I do like the Scorcher a lot just because you can jump around the map. It is fantastic for traveling, especially in tier three to get to contracts a lot quicker. Uh, I do like it a lot. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I do not want to deal with... Oh wait, I have two circuits. So let's take this guy out. And this is why you hold on to circuits for tier 3. Now 
the turret do focus up on megas first and then they start helping out with everything else so as it's taking down the mega you do just got to be a little cautious oh and would you look at that we got an epic tool let me pick this up before uh, it goes away and i can use that Ooh, fantastic oh no i accidentally equipped it Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I guess I'm going to do a Dark Aether run. <laughs> Let's hope I get a Sigil. I have plenty of time, so I should get one. We're just going to start farming contracts until the timer runs out, essentially. Normally, what I would do is hold on to the Epic Tool until... Um, I could do an epic tool with a uh, pack a punch two to start off with, at like a minimum, so that um, I can get in here quicker and start farming. And you know, I typically then will. Oh, I should have thrown down the field upgrade. I knew I should have, and I didn't. I was a fool. Um, but normally I try and wait until I have those two things. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a little wild. Okay. Um, uh, just grenade, not a pulley. Forgot what I was saying. Onward. <laughs> Let's do Shatter Blast, actually. I like Shatter Blast a little bit more. Oh, but I didn't even equip it. I guess that's a sign. Do that. Ooh. Ah! Sigil? Ooh, hello, I'll take that. Uh, ooh, um, I'm already over here. No, let me go do the, um, Outlast, unless someone picked it up, because I think it's gone already. Ooh, boy. Wait up. Okay, let me see if I can stop here for a sec. Clear up. Nope. They did some fancy footwork on me. <laughs> okay, let's hope for a sigil. What can I drop? Let's just start dropping sodas. Sigil, sigil, sigil. Oh, no. I don't think I have that equipped yet. All right. Let's get in here and get out of here. It would be fantastic if that outlast spawns here. Ooh, it is. Yes, it's here. be great, especially if I don't get the sigil, which I didn't know. Okay, so let's go do it. Ooh, hello. I hear another disciple, I think. Sigil, Sigil, Sigil. Ooh. Even better. Even better than a Sigil.
Okay, let's see. What's next? Ooh, yay, thank you. Is that PhD? Oh, I do have PhD on. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, there's a nuke. I thought that was, uh... Uh, insta-kill. Oh, thank goodness I got the sigil. Um, I'm not gonna take that, because I already have... Actually... Uh, duh, 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 duh. I honestly don't need two of those. Okay, so... Now what we need to do... Is go buy... Um, and let's see. I will need to drop some things. So, part of this run is getting stuff so that you can do the next run with like the same type of gear right so same or better or like the kind of roughly the best i have a legendary and my honestly my stash is full so i'm gonna just drop this uh i have something better and that is a legendary in my bag so we'll drop that for now let's go find a buy station and we will get out of here buy station right here i don't need this many self revives all i need i want to hold on to the tool the crystal and then I need to put as many holy grenades in my bag as possible and I really only need like three self revives and part part of that is that for the most part not a hundred percent but for the most part a lot of the reward rifts inside the dark aether give a self revive Uh, just make sure oop, I was gonna say make sure it kind of clears up first and I'm safe okay so let's uh, drop that let's buy perfect three four plenty of Kazis all right let's go okay let's do this Okay, so tier four. So now, now we're trying to get golden armor plates and the ether blade. Um, dog bone, sure, fine. I actually kind of don't like the dog bone personally. Um, and then I'm also not going to do the S4 ACV. Uh, I mean, it's doable here in tier four as a solo. I, typically, I would want more Casmirs, and I would want like some type of meta gun uh, to do the escort contract. So since I don't have that stuff, I'm going to just do the this one, and then the uh, Outlast contract. I'm already getting pummeled here. My goodness. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, okay, I can't get on it, what the heck? Gotta use another one. And that's why we bring extras. What did I do? Whoa, I had no idea those things could teleport you. Now that I think about it, I think I have had it. Ooh, nice. Uh, refill that one. Uh, I have had it happen before. I just, for I always forget. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, let's just call in the dog, since I don't really necessarily want it, and we'll do... We'll just take that other self-revive. Help you out, bud. Just keep moving. Zombie spawning behind me. Ooh, new, nice. Ooh. 
laid up here. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's just take these out with me. All right. And since I'm not doing the other one, two, four, oh. Yeah, I only have four. Hey, thank you very much, doggy. And there we have it. So that's how I go from having nothing to being able to run tier three and tier four. Um, I mean, at this point, it's kind of like a feedback loop. Uh, I usually end up with um, usually actually epic tools. I admit these runs getting two legendary tools. That's that's pretty rare for me. It's usually just the epic tools, but I do usually have the refined Ethereum crystals by the end. Um, flawless on a rare occasion but at this point you know i can go back in pop these two things any spare uh perks that i took on the way out and i'll just yeah farm tier two contracts until i can pap three or if i lucked out with a refined crystal go straight to tier three same thing farm contracts sigil dark aether um now yeah having gold armor plates in the ether blade uh dog bone all that stuff really nice but I, I really don't think it's needed to be successful in this game uh, I really think it comes down to the weapon you're using uh, and how you have it kitted you know the the rarity and the pap level I think that's really kind of the main critical things so uh, and then as far as the tier 5 dark aether uh, I personally at this point I have everything unlocked so I don't see a need to go there I don't see any excess benefit I don't see a, a better loot pool the times that I do go in there. So I just stick to the tier four for trying to make sure that I do end up with a good um, ether tool, crystal, and then a bonus of armor plates and the ether blade. So that's just how I see it. And so I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Till the next one, peace.